Hello guys, Ramesh here. Welcome to ReactJS Fetch AP example with Spring Boot. In previous video, we have created a ReactJS Spring Boot REST AP example tutorial. Okay, in this tutorial, we have used ArcGIS HTTP library to make a you know REST API call. And in this video, we are going to use browser inbuilt Fetch API to make a REST API call. All right. So Fetch API is basically a browser inbuilt API and which is available in all the modern browsers including Microsoft Edge. Let us take a look at how we can make AJAX calls in a React applications. As we know that React is a JavaScript library that does not have ability to make HTTP request. Hence we need to use a third party libraries to achieve this. Okay. React is just a JavaScript library which focuses on building user interface and React has a good integration with third party libraries. So we can use any third party HTTP library to make a uh, AJAX call or uh, you know to make a REST API call. Alright, there are plenty of libraries available to make HTTP calls into React applications and here are the popular ones. In previous video, we have used Axios HTTP library to make a REST API call. And in this video, we are taking a look at uh, using Fetch API to make a REST API call and uh, super agent React Axios use HTTP React request. So these are the few HTTP libraries we can use with React to make a uh, AJAX calls or REST API calls. All right, great. So look at the diagram here in previous video we have created spring boot application at a server side and we have created and exposed simple rest api and we have created a react application as a client to consume the rest api and we have used http library that is axios http library to make a you know a rest api call okay we have used axios http library to make a rest api call in react application and in this video we are going to see how to use fetch api to make a rest api call in react applications all right great let us take a look at fetch api overview fetch api is a browser built-in api and it is available in most of the modern browsers to make a http request to the server and the most important part is that fetch is asynchronous so it will run in the background and let you know when it finishes using promises okay so fetch api uh, is basically uh, returns a promise which resolves when the request get completes okay and this is most important like fetch api uh, we can use a fetch api to make a synchronous request to the server and fetch api allows us to make http request to the standard http verbs such as get post put patch and delete in previous video we have created spring boot react just step by step example and we have used axios http library to make a rest api call okay and in this video i'm going to use a same example i will just replace axios http request call with you know fetch api request call so please watch my previous video in order to understand uh, you know end to end uh, this example i will provide a link of previous video in video this video description so that you will quickly go through the previous video and uh, yeah you will understand end to end all right great in previous video we have created a spring boot backend project which exposes a rest api so look at your api slash users so this is the rest api which will return a list of users to the client basically this rest api loads a list of users from the table and it will return a list of users to the client okay and at the client side we have created a react front-end application which will consume a REST API that is exposed by Spring Boot. And inside this project, we have created a components folder. Within a components folder, we have created a user component file. And inside user component JS file, we, we have created a user component which extends React component. And within a user component, we have a constructor to initialize a state data and we have a component data amount lifecycle method so inside this method we make a, a you know ajax call or a rest api call and this component has a render method so inside render method basically we write all the jsx logic 
okay so jsx is just the syntax of syntax of syntax for extension of javascript all right guys and we have used axios library to make a you know a rest api call now we use fetch api to make a rest api call instead of axios library for that what i will do i will create a new file here and let's call it as user service fetch.js and let's create a es6 class like class user service fetch all right and here just create a method like get users and this method returns a response of fetch api so look at here uh, basically fetch api requires a mandatory parameter that is url so we can define a url over here so let me just copy this uh, rest endpoint url and paste paste here and let's pass this okay great now we can use a then method and inside a then method we can use json method to return a response body as a json for example this is the response and let's return a response as a json like just call the json method so this will return a response body as a json okay just save it now what we'll do we'll just export this class export default and then just create object of this class okay remember this step so whenever we export this class we need to export object of this class now go to the user component and here look at here inside a component did amount lifecycle method we have called this get users method okay now let me uncom let me comment out this method and let's call component did amount and here call user service patch class and let's import this so make sure that this class is imported imported at the top and then call get users method and call then method and inside then method we have a response okay now what we'll do we'll use set state method to set a data to the users array so we have created a users array empty users array inside a state object right now what we'll do we'll use a set state method to assign a response data to the users array users and then a response that's it all right guys we have already started the local development server so let's go back to the browser and let's access this link that is localhost 3000 from the browser in a browser just type localhost 3000 hit enter uh, we got some error over here all right let me see what is the error here mm, i guess we haven't handled the response properly let me go back to the visual studio code id uh, here basically json is a method so let's add parenthesis and let's save this file and let's go back to the browser again yeah here we go we successfully get a response from the server so this is how we can make a you know rest api call using fetch api so notice here fetch api requires a mandatory parameter that is a url and we can also provide optional parameters for example here we can pass object and method 
so as i already mentioned we can use fetch api to make a get post put delete fetch request as well right http request so here i can specify get over here and also here we can specify headers okay and just type accept and we can pass application slash json over here and we can also define a content type in a header like this application slash json all right guys this is how we can add extra optional parameters to the fetch api so let's save this and let's go back to the browser and here we go so if we refresh browser we get the same result okay and if you want to make a post http call then what you can do is you can just add a post method here and if you want to make a put then you can just change put and you need to pass a data to the request okay all right guys this is how we can use a fetch api to make ajax call or a rest api call uh, in react application all right i hope you find found this video useful and subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video